All right, hey there, Prox Gaming Crew, and this is Prox Fight here, and welcome back to Ocarina of Time Let's Play. And if you didn't miss out during the last one, well, we just went and completed off with our time of the Dodongo's Cavern, and now we're going to be doing some other little side things that are going to happen here within this video for today, and also as well, probably extending it to the next episode uh, from there as well, too. Uh, but for right now, within this video, we are, of course, going to be having uh, our time by uh, meeting up with the Great Fairies, and also as well, getting ourselves with some uh, brand new songs for Ocarina of Time, which that is going to be very uh handy and very beneficial uh later on throughout our adventure here uh of the virtual console of korea time game now uh, if you actually do go and blow up with this rock uh around over here in this type of way um there is a friendly cow that we could go and meet up with now however we don't really have the certain song that we are not gonna be able to go and pick up right away just yet here uh but we do need the opponent song and if you ever do go and meet up with this cow face to face uh even in this area or maybe uh within the way of uh I think you could also go and uh, head to another friendly cow, probably a Kakariko village uh, when you're at, like Adult Link or something. Uh, but if you ever do go and meet up with any of those type of specialized cows, um, you can get yourself uh, with some Long Long Milk. Now, uh, we are going to be heading into Long Long Ranch anyways while we do go and talk on our, well, our way over to where uh, where, where Malin is going to be. Uh, but there is a way that you can go and head on over to where uh, Talon is and you can do the Kuko mini game and you, you could actually get yourself uh, with some free Long Long Milk. Now, however, with Talon, though, is that if you do want to use up uh, another type of Long Long Milk again, if you already went and wasted it out already uh, during uh, any type of previous dungeon that you went on into or anything of that type of way, uh, you do actually have to pay off with some certain rupees for him and uh and apparently uh they are I, I think it's a little bit costly but I, I, well again you can always go and use the cow because it is the much uh, freer type of way uh to get yourself with long long milk anyways from there um now i believe you can use it for unlimited times i think i believe within the cow um now i don't know if you kind of have to go and kind of repeat uh just by heading on out of a certain area and then coming back then you could just be able to go and just uh speak on over to ours to that cow again but i'm pretty sure it is unlimited usage and you can always get yourself a free long long milk now here is uh mr gabor gabor once again the owl now he's just gonna kind of let us know that there is a great fairy here within this way now again we already know about that from darunia um now i believe the great fairy is just located over to the left hand side that we're gonna have to go and blow up uh with a bomb there but there is going to be something special while we head on into the fire temple uh, within our way as well too, uh, because there is going to be a heart piece that we can actually go and pick up. Now, just be careful. So I know that we don't really have, uh, I think, what's it like the Goron armor? So we can't really go and protect ourselves right now within the actual fire of our time. Um, but just make sure to just kind of run as quickly as you can to pick up with the heart piece because you only have roughly around like 30 seconds or so. Which again, that is like a pretty nice, good, fair, decent amount of time anyways. Because like by the time that you already reach on out of the actual exit way, you'll probably at least have maybe like four or five seconds left remaining. Um, now, here's something uh, so something to kind of remind yourself with if you ever do go and play with Ocarina of Time. And that is that each great fairy has their own sequential order. So it, so basically, if you go and talk to Jorunia and he does say something about heading off into Death Mountain, that is like your first location to go and speak to the actual great fairy that's going to be there. Because you can't just go and run straight towards... Uh, to the actual fairy that's in Hyrule Castle because she's not going to be there. She, she has to like actually show up to the point after when you go and uh, get yourself with the actual spin attack that we are going to be picking up here. And this is where we're going to learn uh, ourselves, I think, uh, with the magic power uh, within our time as well, too. So that's going to be something very nice to go and have because that is how we'll be able to uh, get ourselves with the usage of the actual Dins Fire that will happen uh, later on uh, within our time of the game uh, that we do have to go and uh, get ourselves with the uh, Sun Song uh, once we go back to Kakariko Village from here. Now, I have to say, uh, using, like, the different type of masks uh, within this game, uh, even though that's not actually, like, Majora's Mask, there's, like, some pretty cool stuff that you can actually go and learn about uh, with some of these different masks. Now, I don't know if you guys ever heard uh, about this before, but I'm just learning some new stuff right now, which it's always great to learn about new things in Ocarina of Time because, like, there's just so much type of stuff that I've never actually got to realize before within the game, unless if you had the guidebook back in the day. Uh, but, you know, the skull mask that I'm wearing, and I know that is something that we have to go and do with the uh with the skull kit and everything and i believe also as well too with the deku scrubs that we have to go and meet up within the, well within our time of the actual uh 
uh, well, with everything that has to be done within the Lost Woods and stuff. Um, but you can actually uh, have this specialized skull mask to get yourself protected from keese or from the Gwaig crows uh, that we have seen uh, from before. Yeah, it's a really weird name on why that they would name uh, a crow enemy a, a Gwaig for some reason. Uh, but yeah, so if you ever go and meet up with those sort of flyer enemies, uh, basically around with the nighttime or even in the caves that you go and meet up with, uh, you can actually scare away the actual keys. It's too bad that this mask was never really a feature thing in other different games or not even in Majora's Mask either. I don't even think so. Uh, but, but this mask is like really perfect just so that like those annoying keys that we've been running on into since like the Dogless Cavern, this would have been a much perfect mask to go and have. And then you would never even have to even worry about having those guys at all. And then you could just go and just use the slingshot and uh, ping pong them uh, all over the place if you wanted to. But now, since we got ourselves with the heart piece over here at the Fire Temple, we are going to move our way into our time here back to the Hyrule Castle to get ourselves with Dim Fire so that we could go and start off with our first of many songs uh, that we are going to be gathering up here for this video, which that is going to be with the Sun Song. But I have to say, though, I don't know if I already went and kind of spoke about this before in one of my other previous episodes here of Ocarina of Time. But, like, I swear, like, every time that, that we ever bring, like, a mask into, like, a certain dungeon area, or even if we go and, like, kind of just use it, like, walking around and other things of that type of nature, I have to say, like, somebody, like, must have, like, probably thought to themselves, like, while playing Ocarina of Time back in the day, must have literally was, like, just kind of just thinking that, like, hey, you know what? Since I'm wearing a mask, like, throughout all the different areas that I'm, like, walking on into, why don't we just have an actual game where we can just go and use masks, like, all the time? And actually use that for specific actual dungeons and also include it within the actual boss dungeons. And guess what? Within, like, two years later, after 1998 that rolled around, we got ourselves with the year 2000, and then we got ourselves with Majora's Mask. <laughs> It's just too bad that here in this game, you don't really actually have the functionality of literally bringing an actual mask into an actual dungeon battle. Maybe there is like a cheat or something that we can go and use it with, but yeah, unfortunately we can only go and do so much within an actual mask. And if, even if you do wear a mask though, and you go and talk to some of the specialized like NPC characters for different like special awards or items or anything, they won't really actually go and talk to you. They'll just, like, basically ignore you or just basically just think that, like, oh, Link's just being Link, like, as always, just wearing a mask yeah, and just not even allow you to even go speak to them at all. But now this is, like, really funny. Now, we can actually go and wear a mask during the time of this actual segment that's here, and you actually get to go and see a really weird, creepy Link that's going to happen. Do you, I don't know if you just saw that just there for, like, five seconds ago, but it's, like, zoomed into, like, Link's face right there and just, like, uh, had the skull mask on. It would kind of make things even a little bit worse creepy than it actually had to be, right? Because we're actually opening up a tombstone out of all things. <laughs> this would probably be a, a perfect type of Halloween type of... Uh, type of thing to go on here within this area <laughs> too bad that i'm not actually doing this game on halloween because there is a lot of spooky stuff that actually happens here within ocarina of time because like just the shadow temple and bottom of the well alone kind of has like some very very demented type of meaner to them so yeah so if you guys just saw that there i just wore the skull mask and these keys just like kind of just fly away from you and they actually just kind of just stand still and you could just go and just use your slingshot on them and this actually works out really nicely here within this little mini dungeon uh well i wouldn't really call it as like a mini dungeon but it's more so i'm just trying to collect yourself with the sun song uh, but within this way as well too, uh, this is where we'll be able to go and meet up with the very first of many re-deads. Um, now there is a little bit of something specialized uh, that happens here with certain re-deads and also with Stalfoses as well too, since they are, of course, are all undead enemies that are going to be here. Uh, you can actually play the Song of Time and I believe you can actually go and freeze those enemies and actually, uh, be able to get some nice, good, perfect hits as well. Now I thought Zelda's Lullaby would be something to go and do that and apparently it seems like that is not going to be the case. I think it's more so Song of Time related. So if you ever do have something like that there, you should be able to go and just stun those undead enemies and be able to uh, at least kind of have a much nicer time without them having to go and try to scare you every so often. So yeah, now we just have to go and try to look for the last keys. Now the last keys, uh, unfortunately, since I am wearing the skull mask, since the other one's not trying to fly on over towards me, is, is that he's actually hanging upside down uh, over where the door is at. And it's a little bit hard to go and see, but you should be able to kind of see him just right in the vicinity of where my slingshot's at. If you kind of just look around at the screen here, I'm just going to try to move it just a little bit slightly to the right, and there we go. Got him right off the bat, and my slingshot skills are pretty much coming into use right there. 
Hopefully my uh, arrow shots are going to be a little bit better when we start going into the actual mini games for a heart piece and also for the uh, large quiver bow as well because I do need to go and pick that up uh, within our time a little bit later from this game. But yeah, so this is where I'm going to go and have to try out that Zelda's lullaby and see if it actually works, but unfortunately it's not going to be the case. Now, I think as well, too, you could always go and rebuy the mask because I'm pretty certain that since we are, of course, doing an actual uh, trading uh, type of quest that is happening with the Happy Mask Salesman, I'm pretty certain that once we are all said and done with everything, I'm pretty certain I think we can actually go and reuse this mask again. Somebody may probably let me know in the comments that we'll probably will not be able to go and reuse them, but I'm pretty certain I think we can. I know that we're supposed to be able to get us some like the mask of truth and all that other things that are supposed to happen and, we'll, and we have to go and pick up with that and i think that could be like a mainly a main permanent item within the game but i'll have to do some more research on that i may probably put maybe a blip up within this video anyways and just kind of just say uh if uh if we are able to go and rebuy out those certain masks but i know that I think probably once we get ourselves with like the mask of truth i don't think we'll probably be able to get those guys again probably now we could go and probably like rebuy out like the can mask and other things for right now but once that mask happens and once it comes into play can't do it but here we go so now we're going to change the night into day and there we go everything kind of makes things a little bit more lively now right so now I believe at this point in time is that we are going to go and head on out of this destination and make our way right on into Long Lawn Ranch, where we're finally here now. So let's go and move on into this way. Now we're going to kind of go and uh, see something a little bit, uh, a little bit funny here, because like I'm pretty sure that uh, that we are going to go and talk to some of these NPCs with the actual skull mask on us. So let's go and uh, see what happens here. Because, like, I think Talon actually goes and says something about, like, oh, well, you don't scare me or something of that type of way or something like that. Uh, yeah, see, he's just like, that's that's a scary one, ain't it? Uh, yeah, I know. You know, like, I have, like, other different type of masks, though. I have, like, the Kia mask. I don't think uh, that would probably freak him out. I just love, like, the little extra dialogue that you could actually go and talk to some of these, uh, to some of these characters here. Even if you do go and wear the actual mask. But yeah, so here for this area, we just need to go and search for some Kukos and, uh, and basically uh, have to go and find the specialized ones. Now, even if you do lose this uh, type of mini game, not to worry, um, you don't really have to go and uh, spend out on the 10 rupees. It actually decreases the actual rupees that happen. So you can actually be able to go and uh, do it for like five rupees instead of 10 rupees, even though that you went and failed the first attempts. Now, I believe it will always be, I think, uh, five rupees, I think every time, right? Or does it decrease again? It goes into like, oh, you want to do it for free or something? I'm not really too entirely certain if there is a free one. I think all that I know is that it is only, I think, just only recommended five rupees every time. So there's the first one. I will probably have to go and find the second one here. Now, uh, every time that he goes and, like, throws out on those Kukos, just kind of look at the different shadows of the actual specialized Kukos that go because uh, normally they all fly into their own specialized patterns. So one of them will fly directly to the center, one of them will fly to the right, one of them will fly to the left. And that should at least somewhat kind of help you gear into the right proper facility from there. Now, unfortunately, I lost. I only found just two out of the three. But we'll have to go and do it again, so not to worry there. And uh, let's see what we got. So we got ourselves only with just only two minutes on the clock here. Within our time for this video. So there's the first one already got found. So nice. So now we just go ahead over here to the, I want to say, left-hand side around within this corner. So we're going to see if there's anything else around here. There it is. And now we just need to go find the left-handed side, Kuko. And uh, that should be very simple. It should be right over here, too, or somewhere. Ah, right, there we go. Picked them up. Nice. So now all Kukos have been found. And now he just goes and basically asks us if we want to marry Malin. And I'm going like, what? What type of weird question is that? Yeah, and even if you say, yeah, of course, it's just going to be like, yeah, just kidding. <laughs> yeah, we already like somebody else. We don't really, uh, well, well even though that Malin is... Uh, a pretty nice, uh, a nice person, you know? I, I think we kind of like Zelda a little bit more, right? So there we go. Got ourselves with the long, long milk. And there we go. Now, uh, yeah, so you have to go and, like, literally buy it for, like, 30 rupees. I would just say, just go and pay out for the, for, for a cow. Just go and, like, use the opponent's song on a cow. It's, like, free. You can literally do it at whatever point in time that you go and use the, the milk for, and then you can always come back and refill it up. Eh. <laughs> 
Like, I don't know why they would actually give you that type of option to begin with if you could actually just go and speak to the cow. Um, I think in Majora's Mask, I think you don't have that option to go and play the Zelda's Lullaby on a cow in that way. I could be wrong. Because the last time that I wanted to try it out on, on the opponent song on a cow in Majora's Mask, it didn't allow me to get myself any type of milk at all, which I thought that was really weird. I don't know if that was just a defect of the game or if it just doesn't want me to just pick up free milk from there. I guess you have to go to the actual, uh, the actual, I think, what's it, like the, like the milk bar or something that's in the part of Clock Town, and you actually have to go and literally buy the milk from there instead, which I think that's just super dumb. <laughs> but, anyways, uh, just go and talk to Mala quite a few times there, and then she'll actually go and tell you to actually go and play the Ocarina. I, I just wanted to just kind of just edit through that, because it is really annoying. I don't know why you have to go and, like, literally speak to Mala at least, like, three different times, and then actually get to go and learn the actual song from there. You should just be able to just go and just talk to her directly and just keep on reading through the text and then actually get the song. Just, like, don't have to, like, do it in a way of, like, the Okami style where you just have to, like, go and keep on repeatedly talking to the same person until you actually get some part of the dialogue finally completed. <laughs> so there we go. Got ourselves with the opponent song. And a shocking face is finally going to say it all. So we finally got ourselves with that song. And now we're going to go and end things off here for today. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll be seeing you in Yokai Watch 4. And of course, peace.